world. Hello, you beautiful people. It's me again. Saturday morning. <laughs> Weekend's here, man. Another day. What's good? Look. You know, Xbox Game Pass is a monster. <laughs> you know, Xbox Game Pass is like a, one of those wormholes. You know, they, they have like an outer space where it pulls everything in. <laughs> I'm saying, um, Xbox Game Pass remind me of uh, when Jim Carrey built it. Remind me of Jim Carrey and Batman when he built that uh, that that box and it was sucking in all that information. <laughs> you know, Game Pass remind is like Pac-Man. It's never satisfied. It just eats up everything in its path. Okay, see like how Pac-Man Pac-Man is never full. You know, Game Pass is like this, right? Hmm. So, when it comes down, you know, you know the hand, the handheld handheld market is in trouble because of Game Pass. You know, they, they really are. Um, okay, which would you rather have? Okay, let's say this was a Samsung, right? And this was an Apple. The two of them, right? This is my old old phone, kind of damaged. But anyway, I'm using these two as an illustration. Okay. So this is a Samsung, this is an Apple. Okay, which would you rather do? Which would you rather? Which would you rather do? Spend spend four hundred dollars on a handheld device to play some games, or would you spend four hundred dollars on a phone so you can play the latest games through Game Pass? And that's what it's going to come down to. This is a Samsung, this is an Apple, right? This is a this is iOS. This is our Android, right? So, which would you rather do? Would you spend four hundred dollars on a handheld device, a hand, a, on a handheld device, or would you spend that four hundred dollars on a new phone so you can play the latest games through Game Pass? And that's that, that's what it's going to come down to. So, every time a developer they make a game, yeah, you're going to get your physical copy, but they're going to put it on Game Pass on day one. So. Let's say you're at a um, at a baseball game. You can pull your you can pull you can pull your phone out. You can pull your phone out either or Android, iOS, and be and be sitting in the bleachers watching the game, looking at the game, and then playing your games, playing your games on your phones. Okay, that's what that's what this video game console race is going to come down to. Okay, am I going to spend four hundred bucks on a new phone? Or am I going to spend 400 bucks on a new handheld device? Okay. And then with Game Pass, you get instant access because you're playing the... You, as soon as a developer makes a game, it goes straight to Game Pass on day one. And wherever you're at out there in the world, you're at a, you're at a uh, baseball game, basketball game, hockey game, wherever you're at and whatever you're doing, you can pull your phone out. Pull your phone out, Android, iOS, and start gaming right then and there. Okay. And Game Pass and Game Pass is like Pac-Man. It just need, it needs more, more games, more games, more games. Okay. I mean that 7.5 Bethesda deal was one thing. Backwards compatibility is another. But then the new games coming in, so Game Pass is like this, just eating up games as it, as it comes. And then you get it right then and there. And then not only that, while you're playing the game, wherever you're at out there in the world, you can save it remotely. Okay? Game Pass is a monster, man. It's a monster. It's not a, it's not a monopoly. It's a monster. Okay? You know what I'm saying? It's a service that Microsoft thought of providing a service. So, so, so now... Not, not only that, they brought the Apple, the Apple fan base, that huge Apple fan base, to Xbox through Game Pass. Okay, so it's it's not a monopoly; it's a service. And Sony and Nintendo, you know, they took the game industry for granted, not taking care of their fans' needs, ignoring in ignoring their fans' needs. You know, they thought if they they just build a console, sell a couple games. And that's it. 
but Sony and Nintendo's uh, infrastructure needs work. Need work. So Phil Spencer comes out and says, okay, sales is not the end all be all of video games. You guys need to work work on your infrastructure. Sony and Nintendo took backwards compatibility for granted. They, they've been in the console race longer, longer than Microsoft. So Microsoft is sitting there watching them like, really? You guys are taking taking backwards compatibility for granted? You're not taking care of your cons your fans? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take backwards compatibility, compatibility and we're going to improve it. And improve it, they did. And then, like I said, who would who have thought you could bring like a Netflix-like service to console gaming? Sony and Nintendo should have had us had had something in place just like what Microsoft is doing they took it for granted Microsoft seized the opportunity look at them now okay Xbox Game Pass okay you can say Xbox Game Pass or just say Game Pass period so every time a new game comes out whether it's Batman Gotham Knights whether it's uh, whether it's Elder Scrolls 6 any new game that comes out, it goes straight to Game Pass. And wherever you're at, out there in the world, you can play them right then and there. Okay? Sony and Nintendo ain't got nothing like that in, in, in place. All they know is to make a console and try to sell some games. They don't fix their infrastructure. They had a backwards compatibility. Nintendo had a backwards compatibility thing with the Wii U and the Virtual Console. And they should have kept using it. PlayStation had a had the PlayStation 3. So I mean Sony had the PlayStation 3. It was the 20 and the 60 gig models was fully backwards compatible with PlayStation 1, 2, and 3. And then when the PlayStation 4 came out, they should have moved the backwards compatibility over to the PlayStation 4 and continue using it. Right? And add and and then add it add all those add all those games from the PlayStation 3, 2, 3, and 1 to PlayStation Now. Okay. Nintendo, on the other hand, had the Wii U with the Virtual Console. The Virtual Console, you got to keep updating it. You know what I'm saying? Plug in games, put, put in more games. All they had to do to the Wii U was give it more CPU power, more RAM, use the same video card, fix the tablet, increase the, the, the CD with the, with the 25 gigs to about 100 gigs, and give all the controllers a USB connection to recharge your building. Fix the signal strip between the tablet and the console. To where you could like take the console anywhere out there in the world and use it, and then have the console talk, talk to the Wii, um, have the tablet talk to the uh, to the Wii U. That's all they had to do. They should have never built the Switch. So they took things for granted. Microsoft sitting there just watching them like, really? Okay. So y'all, you guys just take backwards. Oh, it, it doesn't mean anything, huh? I mean, who wants to play old games? Really? So that's how you treat your games. So Microsoft, they got moving. You know what I'm saying? They were improving infrastructures, making moves, 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 moves. I'm saying Xbox Live, Game Pass, all this. You know what I'm saying? 4K gaming, they were making moves. Once they came out with that Game Pass, that was a problem. Not, not, now it's a problem. So now I get to play, I get to pay, play big AAA games. Right then and there, as soon as the developer finished making it, it goes straight to Game Pass, and I play it there on day one, wherever I'm at, on my phone, where there's Android, where there's iOS. You know what I'm saying? Anywhere, anywhere out there in the world. I could be grocery shopping, I could be at the wash house, I could be running some errands anywhere. I could be at a, at a game, I could be at a movie theater. I could be at the movie theater. I'm on the I'm on my phone playing Xbox game, paying for my movie ticket, or I'm inside the theater waiting for the movie to start. Okay, Microsoft was making moves, so Game Pass is a problem. Okay, it's a monster and a problem, and it's going to cause some damage. Okay, all because Sony and Nintendo took things for granted. Okay, it's not a monopoly. It's a service. So my question again is, why would I go buy a um, why would I go buy a handheld like a Game Boy or something, or a Switch, when I could when I could buy a buy a phone, Android or iOS, 
and be on Game Pass playing brand new games as they come out. You know what I'm saying? That's that, that that's what that's what it's gonna come down to. Okay? Why would I go buy why would I go buy why would I go buy a Nintendo Switch? I mean think of it. Why would I go buy a Nintendo Switch when all I gotta do is go get go get a iOS phone, an Android phone, and I can play the latest games. Instant access. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's gonna come down to. And the hand the, the hand the handheld uh the handheld market is in trouble because of Game Pass. The handheld market is in, is in trouble. Because people are gonna be like, wait a minute. I'm going to buy a Nintendo, I'm going to buy a Switch. I'm going to buy a, um, like an Alienware device. When I can just go, go to this, the, go to the store and buy a, buy a brand new Samsung phone or a brand new, uh, Apple phone or, or Android or iOS phone. And I'm playing the same games, brand new, anywhere I go. That's what it's going to come down to, you know what I'm saying? So, the handheld market is in trouble, man. As a whole, they're in trouble. And, um, Microsoft did their homework, man. Nintendo, they had the Wii U with the Virtual Console, and with the Virtual Console, you need to, you can plug all the older console generation into it, you know, and keep updating it. Everything was right there for them to use. They went against it. PlayStation, on the other hand, their PlayStation 3s were backwards compatible with with PlayStation 3, 2, and 1. And all they had to do was move it over to the next console, the PlayStation 4, and then move it over to the PlayStation 5. And they had the PlayStation Now to deal with. So Microsoft looking at everybody like, really, y'all just take things for granted, huh? Y'all don't appreciate anything, huh? Or you think these games are just old and nobody wants to play them, huh? Really? Well, we, well okay, we'll, we'll take care of it. And take care of it, they did so the Game Pass is going to eliminate something, eliminate the handheld market. The handheld market is in tr real trouble. Game Pass is a serious problem. Okay, it's a monster. You know what I'm saying it's like Pac-Man. It just eats up everything. It's like a vortex that sucks in, uh, that sucks in uh, all, 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 all the games in, in its directions. Okay. So there's there's only two things we're gonna there's only three things we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be playing Steam, Steam Games, Game Pass, and Netflix. That's all PC gamers are gonna be doing. That's all gamers are gonna be doing. Steam, Game Pass, Netflix. Okay. Okay, Microsoft has just checkmated the game industry. Okay. That's what they just did. They checkmate the game industry. Okay. They got they got they got that deal that they just made. They got the Apple fan base now playing Xbox games. Game Pass is a huge is a is a is a is like a vortex, a monster, eating up any everything in its path. It's never satisfied. Okay. The entire gaming industry now runs through Microsoft. Okay. The entire gaming industry runs through Microsoft. The entire world runs on Windows. The entire gaming industry runs through Microsoft. Okay? Checkmate. <laughs> okay? Because this morning I got up and I was just thinking, I was like, wow. And, I, and I'm looking at this Game Pass thing. It is a problem. Okay? It is a problem. Game Pass is a problem. You already seen EA Play join Game Pass. You already seen Ubisoft join Game Pass. It's that serious, okay? Game Pass is a problem. <laughs> it's no joke. It's no joke, man. I mean, Game Pass is a problem. That's eating up every game in its path, man. Nintendo, on the other hand, they had the Wii U with the Virtual Console to combat that. They gave up on it like a bunch of fools. But Microsoft like, oh, really? All right. And then Sony, they gave up on their backwards compatibility that they had going. So Microsoft is like, all right. 
We'll take it and we'll work on it. We're going to take old games and have them run at 60 to 120 frames a second. What? And after, and after what the Xbox One X did with Red Dead Redemption? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then here comes Game Pass. So now, I can take my Android phone, my iOS phone, and play the same games as soon as Game Pass gets it. I can play it wherever I'm at out in the world. I could be on I could be on a bus, a train, probably in a car. At, at, at any any sporting events, concerting anywhere. I'm out I'm out in the woods camping. I'm out in the woods camping and all I need is my phone. A game pass. That's what's up, man. Okay. Checkmate. You never take things for granted in this game industry, man. You never take things for granted. Sony and Nintendo are lazy. Sony and Nintendo, Nintendo and Sony are lazy. They don't take care of their fans' needs. Okay? They don't work on their infrastructure. They don't. Microsoft comes in. Everybody goes at, a lot of YouTubers go at Microsoft. Oh man, it's sales and exclusive. Microsoft don't care about that. Microsoft was looking at the bigger picture. So what they, Phil Spencer came out and warned everybody. Sales is not the end all be all to video games. Okay? Sales is, sales is not the end all be all to video games. And they were just working on their infrastructure. Working on that infrastructure that they were building. Making deals that we didn't even know about till it came till it came to the light, and that Bethesda deal was a shocker. It it, it sends shockwaves, man. And that Game Pass thing, whew, yeah. And that backwards compatibility, mm, all of that's going to Game Pass. And they were just making move, and then all of a sudden. You're going to bring Game Pass to iOS devices? What? So, so now the entire Apple fan base can play Xbox games. Halo Infinite on day one. Wherever they're at now, wherever they're at out there in the world. On the go. Okay. Checkmate. Nintendo and Sony don't take care of their fan base, man. They always got an excuses. They always got, a, got they always got an excuse. So Microsoft just took what they took for granted and used it against them. Yep. Game Pass is a problem. Look. Android, iOS. As soon as a big AAA game comes out, wherever I'm, wherever I'm at out there in the world, I can play it on my phone. Right then and there. Checkmate. <laughs> it's no joke, man. It's no joke. It's no joke. So, uh, so again, so again, so again, the handheld market's in trouble. So, so, so again, if I got four hundred bucks, do you think I'm gonna buy a Nintendo Switch, or I'm gonna buy a? a, a uh, that uh, that Alienware device, or, or or am I gonna buy a new phone so I can play the latest games on Xbox Game Pass? And not only that, while I'm on my Game Pass, I can go to Netflix. Checkmate. Okay. You never take things for granted in this game video game industry. It will come back to bite you. It will come back to bite you. Right now, Sony fans are mad at Sony right now. Okay? There are Nintendo fans mad at Nintendo right now. After the fans on the Wii U, was, Meverse was telling them not to not to build a darn Switch. Yeah. Backwards compatibility is a problem. Man. And um, Microsoft uh, uh, seized the opportunity. That's all they did. And they are getting their games... 
Game Pass is a monster. <laughs> you know? Which, which, I mean, I mean, which, which would you rather do? Again, you got 400 bucks. Would you buy a new Android phone? A new iOS phone? And play the latest games on the go? Wherever you're at now in the world and what you're doing? This is the new, this is the new... This is the new, new, new form, new form of gaming. Now we don't game on, we don't game on handheld devices anymore. We don't game on, uh, we don't game on Game Boys or none of that stuff anymore. We use our phones, Android, iOS. Oh, don't get me wrong, you can still get the console. Don't get me wrong, you can still get the console. But we don't game, we don't game on no Game Boys anymore. We use our phones, and these phones are powerful now to run today, to stream today's games and play them. <laughs> I mean, think of it, man. And then there's that Xbox, that Xbox TV app that's coming, that's gonna be in the corner of your TV. So all you do is this: you grab your Xbox controller and play and, and play to get and play and play your games through that through the app. Video games have changed, people. The old ways of video games are dead. Okay. Game Pass is no joke. You know, it's no joke. When I sat there and just looked at it and see what 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 what's really going on. Yeah. Game Pass is a problem. Okay? And you just brought the entire Apple fan base over to Microsoft. Microsoft Corporation is no joke. <laughs> Phil Spencer and the crew is they ain't no joke. I mean, seriously, if you had $400 on you right now and you play video games, what would you rather do? Would you go buy an Android device, an iOS device, or would you go buy a, uh, buy a, buy a Nintendo Switch or, a, or a, to go play, to play, to play the latest games? And that's what it's going to come down to. Okay? Sony and Nintendo took the games, video game industry for granted. And that's why their fan base is mad at them. Microsoft is making moves. Moves, 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 moves. Checkmate. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video for y'all to enjoy. But uh, this, game, this title of this video is called Game Pass vs. The World, man. <laughs> anyway, nice talking to you beautiful people again. Chris. Still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Bored, dark side. I'm gone. Peace.